Hi, my name is Becca. Welcome to my video series, Everyday English Every Day. Um, if you want to join my community, check out my private Facebook group at Ra Raising My Vibration, or you can like my Everyday English Every Day with Becca page on Facebook too. All right, so today we're talking about self-healing. We're going to listen to a conversation I had with Lau from Pura Vida Vibrations. This is like a... Um, they do events or experiences with sound journeys and different breathing techniques. Um, I met with Lau and talked about sound journeys a bunch with her and I made a bunch of videos too. So in the description, you can see the playlist that has to deal with sound journeys if you wanna learn more about this fabulous tool. Now, I guess the goal in life is to be at peace, be fulfilled, be happy and thrive. So we're talking about those phrases today in this video. For a little more, I'll tell you about Vagaru, an awesome online community and English language learning platform. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give my video a like. Um, okay, so we're talking about self-healing, right? It all comes from within us, that's the point, right? So we really have to figure out how to access that power within ourselves. I'm gonna review some phrases that I want you to pick out during our conversation. So let's practice them together. Repeat after me. To go to the root cause. A different perspective. Release emotions. Stop fight or flight response. Stress hormone. Healing itself. to be at peace, feel fulfilled, thrive also. It's already inside of ourselves. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's listen to the video together, our conversation together, okay? And remember, when you hear these phrases, pause and repeat them again for practice. It could be. Right, right. Yeah. No, we, I love it. We want true healing or we want to go to the root cause. Or if we want to go to the root cause and, and thrive, we need to start seeing things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, well, I had the same thing, like, because you get into the state or emotionally speaking, you get into a state of deep, deep, deep relaxation releasing emotions and when you relax the body can stop uh, the fight or flight response right uh-huh the cortisol levels diminish which is the stress hormone and the, the body can finally rest and can mm -hmm. finally regenerate when you're stuck like having so much going on you can finally rest and heal because the body's wisdom it's always about healing itself. Totally. So that's, that's so cool because I'm really trying to, I've been reading a lot about like your feminine and masculine sides, like in everyone. And when you did that yesterday, when you were putting the thing, I was like, ah, oh, see, it's coming up everywhere. I know I need to learn more about this. And, um, and with that feminine side is really, I, I have a hard time resting, you know, and I know like even on the weekends, you know, I'll be on the computer and doing things and I've been talking with some friends and they're like, get off the computer, relax. So now it's my job on the weekends to make sure I take at least one nap, you know, like I'm really trying to make myself nap because then that shows that I'm able to drop it down, right? And able to give up all that needing to do something. So uh I'm definitely working on this a lot. So that's awesome to well, hear. There's many, many tools. Mm -hmm. Sound is one of the ways of climbing the mountain. You know, uh -huh. there's saying that there's like 10,000 different ways of climbing yeah. the mountain. Totally. Sound is one of, of, of the paths, but mm -hmm. there's many other tools that we can use for self-healing. Because eventually that's what we all want to deep down. Mm -hmm. What we all want is to be at peace and to mm -hmm. feel fulfilled and to feel happy with, you know, with ourselves, with, their with our bodies, with our family, with the things we have and thrive also. Mm -hmm. So many tools to finally uh, or to, to find the way of 
of discovering that mm -hmm. that it's already inside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. That's what I'm, that's what I've realized the most, I think, is like all the power is definitely within me, you know, it's awesome to be able to access that. I've been really into Wim Hof breathing recently, like I finally have made that part of my everyday life. And it's, it's, it's life changing, really. I mean, I feel so different because of it. Yeah. Yes, we, me and Jared, we used to, to do more, to do breath work sessions for mm -hmm. community, but since uh, this happened it was not safe <laughs> to right, have right. a bunch of people uh, doing uh, breath work but we so she's talking about once COVID hit they had to stop doing the breath work you know ceremonies and events really um but it is it's all about taking that time to be quiet within ourselves so we can really access what we need, right? We have lots of stuff going on all the time and we really need to be able to step away, right? And have that peace. All right, let's talk a little more about some of these uh, phrases. If we want true healing, right? When we are healed, we're cured, we're better, right? Or if we want to go to the root cause, the root cause is the source, what's causing something, why is it happening? We need to start seeing things from a different perspective. And sitting in silence, meditating, breath work, those give us that opportunity. Getting into a state of deep relaxation, releasing emotion, we relax and the body stops the fight or flight response. Okay, so this fight or flight response is acute stress response, right? It's a reaction that happens in our body when something is scaring us, either mentally or physically. Now, Really, when information gets to our brain, it comes to the center and we have that fight or flight response. What we need to do is that's normal, right? But it's like we're getting hijacked kind of, right? We have to learn to breathe, take a couple seconds before that information can pass to a different part of our brain where we actually can process. And learning how to slow down and relax helps us gain clarity and the ability to be able to relax and breathe in times of stress. The cortisol levels diminish, right? They decrease, they go down, right? Cortisol is the stress hormone. And the body can finally rest and regenerate when you stop having so much going on in your mind, right? You need that so the body can heal itself. The body's amazing. The body's wisdom is always about healing itself. It knows what to do. We just have to give it the time. Right, so let's talk about these phrases, to be at peace. When you're at peace, you feel contentment. You accept the situation. I'm at peace with my decision to move abroad. I live in Costa Rica. I love, I love living here. So um, I am at peace with my decision living here. To feel fulfilled. To feel happy because you have everything you want. I love helping others. I feel fulfilled at work. I love building relationships. I love the connection I have. I am really happy when I'm working and sharing with others. To thrive, to be doing super well, right? When you're thriving, you're growing, developing, you're successful. Getting to know yourself and trust yourself leads to a thriving lifestyle. Now notice here, thriving is an adjective describing the type of lifestyle. I could also use it as a verb. You need to be, in order to thrive, you need to be able to know yourself, right? You need to be able to have time to get deep and understand yourself. All right, so I love Eckhart Tolle. He's like my favorite. I love The Power of Now. Super awesome book. Everyone should read it. Love is a state of being. Your love is not outside. It is deep within you. You can never lose it and it can never leave you. We have everything we need inside of us. So our goal should be falling in love with the process of becoming the best version of yourself. Do things you love. Find tools that make you feel good and you want to do them. It could be breath work. It could be sound healing. It could be running, right? Figure out what makes you the best version of yourself. All right, guys. So if you like my video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Mondays in 2021. Comment below, ask me questions, and you can 
follow me on Facebook or on any of these Facebook pages, right? Raising My Vic Vibration, Everyday English Every Day with Becca or Aprende Inglés en Vagaru. All right, guys, keep growing and expanding. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.